I don't care. It's one nil. It's looking down. Thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Darling people, welcome back to the Just Show Football Show. I hope you are all doing well today, this Friday afternoon. Of course, it is match day as well, so we will be uh, doing a watch along later on this evening. So make sure you join me for that. Make sure you check out the sponsors, Cool Media. Cool Media Mar Marketing's that one. Yeah, uh, and Fantasy Five will go into more detail on Fantasy Five on the watch along this evening. But um, actually, that's just reminded me I used the wrong link. Not the wrong link, but. I um I need to change the link on that. Let me do it now while I remember because my memory is absolutely trash. And while we're talking about trash, we're going to be talking about um our man Junior. Um, so we will uh we will get into that. Um, because I anyway, there's loads I want to discuss. I wanted to chat about it, so let's let's do just that. Just give me one second while I put the correct link in. Um. Let me copy that one and put that there. That should be the correct link. Okay, let me just make sure it's changed for this video. I'm sorry about this, folks. Um, there we go. I've just changed it to my defaults, you see, so then I don't have to do it all the time. Um, where is it? There we go. So it just default. And, and puts it in there right okay there we go so let's do it yeah save right okay if you want to get a head start check fantasy five links in the description um purple you destroyed him lack of memory joe no i agree i'm still saying it now i have destroyed him i do destroy him not lack of memory i think some of the fan base has short memories like Demar. Like Demar, uh, look, this whole thing of what about this level? He won't need to defend. That for me is, doesn't fly. If he, if he doesn't need to defend, put a fucking centre forward in his position. Put a centre forward in his position. Do you know what I mean? Like I I don't understand what people are seeing, and um, it's not me who's got a short memory. Basically, Junior Furpo today has, um, has, on his Instagram story, has posted a picture of him in a Leeds kit. He's back. He's in the squad, right? Um, Demar, this is different. I don't think, this is what I mean. People, and, and this is why I wanted the right to reply and have a conversation with people. Yeah, Rick Rutter, because they have no historical um credit in the bank if you like or no nothing to call upon all i'd seen right was performances at his previous club dribs and drabs um and he wasn't ready for the premier league he's coming to the championship totally different level but let's see what Rutt is like in the premier league before we say it however what i've seen is 850 days worth of junior Furpo. 850 days worth and all I see is poor defense, like he's poor defensively. He loves a yellow card. I don't care that it's in the championship. He's still poor. I have seen, see, and, and Dan, for me, this is a bit lazy, bro. I think it's like, if that's the case, then we'll never discuss a player ever again. So when Brendan Aronson was being picked all last season, do we just go, well, the manager likes him. That's good enough for me. Sometimes it ain't good enough for you. I'm, I'm assuming, Dan, we've had discussions about Pirro in the nine and Rutter in the ten, and vice versa. Do we, at that point, just go, Farker is the man? I'm assuming, Dan, you get annoyed when he plays Ailing and brings on Cooper, and brings on Bamford, and you're sick of seeing the old guard. At that point, do you say, I trust Daniel Farker? I would say no. And this is another thing that, that, that really irks me, is... Yesterday, on yesterday's preview, I have to defend Ilya Melier. I have to defend Ilya Melier, right? Yet, them same people are willing to back Junior Furpo. 
It's insane. People are willing to back Junior Firpo more so than they am Luke Ailey. Luke Ailey's shown you more than Junior Firpo. Bamford's shown you more than Junior Firpo. Cooper's shown you more than Junior Firpo. But everyone wants to back Firpo. But why? What for? What are we doing? The guy is never fit, which I put on me social media, or oh, it's a skill set. Okay, wrong wording used, but being 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 fit is also something that you need. It's also something that you need, and he doesn't have it. He's been here 850 days. He's played a handful of times. And for me, when we've seen him, he's poor. See, for me, Jack, my, my thing is, my thing is, buy a new left back that starts ahead of Byron, who's a proper left back, left footed, let Byron manages minutes, and sell Junior Furple. The facts are, people, Junior Furple wanted to leave. The club wanted Junior Furpo to leave. I, t I said at the time, Fabrizio Romano, people say, yeah, just guess us. No, I was fed that information. That was a way of saying, come and get me. All these clubs in Europe want a junior third pole. But no one came for him. No one came a knock him. I actually, I'm actually surprised he's going to be fit. Like I thought, I, I said, didn't I? Dallas will play before him. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. He scored against Blackpool. He scored against Southampton. Scott against Southampton. Going forward. Mm, but that's not what he's in the side for. Sam Byram has been phenomenal. And I don't think I don't think he's coming in over Sam. Like if he did, I'd be raged. I wouldn't be happy about the situation. But I just don't what I don't understand. This what I don't understand is the Furpo propaganda. I've seen compilations from Real Betis on my on my social media feed. Compilations from Real Betis. Is this what we're doing? We're going to say that that we're going to get that junior third pole that wasn't there at Barca and has not been there at Leeds. Let's not forget this was a guy that did an interview where he was talking about I don't like the cold. I want to I want to finish my career at Real Betis and all this sort of stuff. This is why, for me, at times I've questioned his mentality and his way with or to want to get fit. To want to get fit. Um, yeah, Joel, when he's on the pitch, fair enough. Okay, but I still think we can be can be crit critical now because I'm critical now. There was a time when I called him Ferber or Carlos. So I tried to find that picture. Couldn't find it. You know what I mean? Because football, you know, your opinions change. But if we actually step back and look over the course of his time, and I think, but Demar, this is the thing for me, Demar. We didn't buy him as a championship left back. We shouldn't even have to question this. We should not even have to question this. We did not buy him as a championship left back. He's had so many chances, as Ethan said. What's that saying where it goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not falling for any Furpo propaganda. Do you know what? He could start tonight or come on and score. And I'm st still not going to allow myself to, to turn. It's took me a while to get on the Dan James hype train. And having seen, having seen Anthony and Nonto, I go, right, okay, yeah, I understand why James is starting now. I do understand it. But, but that shouldn't even be in question, but it's the fact that we're having to question that. Why? Well, of course he should. He played at Barcelona, didn't he? Played at Real Betis. He was amazing. I had someone try and tell me on social media today that he's a good defender in the Premier League. Because I said, well, what, what's, what's he got that's good? Big shout out Logan, by the way. And he said, he's a good defender in the Premier League. Never, never. Have we seen him be a good defender in the Premier League? And I will die on that hill. The guy's out of position, like his spatial awareness is off. 
Look at the way Sam Byron performs. Switched on all the time. Very rarely loses out on aerial duels. Best believe Thurpo will get put in the bin. Always in the right place, you know. Spatial awareness. One-on-one -on -one duels. Thurpo doesn't give you that. They cut inside. He brings them down. It's a yellow card. And it will happen in the championship. I don't understand why there's such a clamouring for him to be in the side. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Thurpo's shite in the prep. <laughs> shite. Uh, Ian says, big up, Joe. Just want to look, show love. Thanks for all your great content. Thurpo could... This is what I mean. How many times have I sat here? I remember someone tried to clip me up before when I said, Thurpo is not even a defender. I'm a better defender than Junior Thurpo. Put it out on social media. After one good performance, guess what? A week later, he was shit. This is what I come back to, that... that once bitten, you know, twice shy. It's too shy, shy. Hush, hush. I don't know. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, I just... I honestly don't understand the... Um, the... The, you know, the clamouring for it. I think the, the thing is, Demi, he's probably not going to play. I think... I don't think he's going to play. But he'll come off the bench. Well, J1, I mean, that's a silly question. Do you want me to not celebrate? I'm not going to do that. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But what I'm saying is, he could play well tonight, and people will remind me what I said, but once bitten, twice shy. It, 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 he's not great. This is a guy we paid, what, 12 million for? Never, ever fifth. And I don't know if that's a mental mentality thing but he's paid a wage folks he's paid a wage so what we're saying then Aaron that it's not his fault everyone else has done that it's not his fault he went through a mess with managers he had Marcelo Bielsa he was rubbish he then had Jesse Marsh he played all right under Grazia for a little bit but I don't so everyone else so what I would say then, and again, maybe this is where the, the most annoyance is from me. Last night, I had to spend 10, 15 minutes defending Ilian Melier. Right? Ilian Melier is quality. I had to defend him. Yet people are wanting to, you know, praise Junior. He's the return, the return of the Mac. I have to defend the likes of Aileen Cooper Bamford. I get they're on the win, but my point is... I just don't understand how everyone's able to flip straight away and be like, Junior, yeah, la, 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 la. do you know what I mean? Because he's rubbish. I task anyone to give me good games or something in his game where you've gone, yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, he's, he's improved. The facts are, the facts are, folks, that all of us agree, agree that Byram should start ahead of him. And Byram is... 30 odd um, he's injured, been injured, checkered past, isn't it mad uh, Byron was able to get fit, he's broke yeah, Lee, it's Lee it's like Robin Cock, I said the same for Robin Cock, the only, the only good thing Robin Cock had going for him was his tash it's same with Junior But this is the thing, Kevin. Aileen's better, though. Aileen's better. Even if you're saying he can't defend, he's better than Junior. He's better than Junior. And I just don't like this whole thing of, oh, well, he won't have to do as much defending. Okay, if that's the case, don't play defenders in defence, then. Just fucking put centre-forwards there, you know? Put midfielders there. If we're not bother if we don't need to defend, why are we playing defenders? Do you know what I mean? I just think that's a, 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 a terrible thing. Joe, other players have come come good. I mean, I hope he does. I hope I have to drink my medicine, eat it, whatever. But my point is, how many times have we heard this with Junior? How many times there's a player in there? This is a Guy we paid 12 million for. He's never fit. 
I don't understand understand it. Especially when people are willing to throw other players that fit every week, that play every single minute under the bus at the drop of a hat. Do you know what I mean? Now, I can think of multiple games, Bristol City being one. Um, they're multiple because we don't really... But I've seen a number of times where the ball's been switched over and Byron's had to deal with it one-on-one -on -one or he's, he's dealt with it in the air. I'm telling you now, you don't get that from Junior. You will not get that from Junior. You know? He's on big money as well. He'll be on big money compared to the rest of the lads. He's been a busted flush, a poor signing. Had he been able to be sold in there somewhere, he would have been. No one wanted him. I don't want him. Paul, you say, right, for those that say he's come good, based on what? Based on what? And tell me I'm wrong, based on what? Now, this is the point as well, Furpo. It doesn't seem to be the case, uh, Furpo, sorry, Leeds, man. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be the case in, in, some fans eyes he's already sound he's already sound for me it'll take me a long time and i don't think it's the same with dan james and i'll tell you for why dan james has form and history at this level dan james has form and history at this level he was here at swansea that got him a move to manchester united he then did bits at Manchester United. He was at Leeds. He was at Fulham. Think how many times and how many games that Dan James will have played in the amount of time that Junior Furpo's here. It's chalk and cheese. The last time Junior Furpo was any good was at Real Betis. Right? Now, this is why, like, when people say, oh, he might be good. This is the footballer that's been here 850 odd days. Nearly three years. So if you haven't seen it now, normally, you know, if you're working, if you're working and you've set someone on and you've had him for three years and your partner keeps going, Joe's not really pulling his weight. Do you go, yeah, but I think there's a there's a bricky in there somewhere. Just got to give him a bit of time. Joe's been here three years, mate. Right, okay, send him on his way. Now, Junior Firpo last played, you know, well for Real Betis, okay, that got him a move to Barca. Do you know what year that was? 2018-19. 2018-19. We're now in 2023, people. I don't want it. I don't, I, you know. Plus, like Dominic said, Firpo cannot defend. I don't think it was in 1819, bro. Do you? This is my point, Stu. I don't this is my point, and I don't understand other people like disagree. Listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but there's been so many that Oh, but what about this? What about that? And I'm 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 just not sure, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, when he, I and I guess maybe like someone someone said Neil on on Twitter, what you can say is when he's played, um, he's looked miles off the play we all expected, you know. Um, injury prone, collects bookings, twelve yellows, one red, um, has offered nothing. Offered nothing, and that's what I don't understand, and that's why I don't understand people's um, response to my tweet. You know, I don't. Someone's just put a you, you kid, and even I can run faster than them. Um, hate as well. People are saying I hate him. It's not hate. Yeah. It's not hate. Like, I never hate someone. Like, it, oh, no. I don't know that. I shouldn't. 
I shouldn't, but sometimes you do hate people, right? You might be scorned. You might be burnt from something they've done for you. Could be an ex, could even be a family member, could be a mate that, that didn't, yeah. So, hate's a very strong word, though. If you do hate anyone, I would try to maybe deal with that situation, look inside, because as long as you're comfortable with yourself, anything else comes secondary. I don't hate him. I just, the, the player, listen, when he, if he plays tonight, I'll support him. If he lets a goal, then I'll be annoyed. Just like when Dan James, people say, because I'm caught in 4K doing this, it's like, oh, well, look how you celebrate when he scored a goal. What do you want me to do? Sit here and go, I'm annoyed that he scored. No. You know, that's crazy talk. We all, the, the thing is, you all, everyone in the chat will make comments like me at times, but you're not on YouTube, so you're not pink. Do you know what I mean? But we've all at some point bemoaned Dan James. Now he's looking good. Am I still 100% that when he goes for one goal? No, I'm not. But I was I was very surprised. And, and that Huddersfield game took me to another level of appreciation for Dan James because I was like, he had two chances and he finished them with a plum. And I had no expectance that he would. So that's improved for Dan. And that's something that Daniel Farker needs to take credit for. Now, with the case in junior, and the reason for this video is because I vehemently at this moment in time don't think he deserves another chance. He's had too many. He he signals for me a bad bad time at the football club, a bad era. He was a signing of victors. I know they all were, but it's just like what that that summer. And I know that's unfair, but I can only tell you what what like goes on in here. Like I look at that as a symbol of the shit and the dross that we bought. Unfortunately, the rest of them have all been loaned out. And it's the fact that for me, what I didn't understand, like, why aren't you? Why aren't you fit? Like people want to say, well, it's not his fault. Well, I'd say sometimes it is, folks, because he's breaking down all the time. And if he's breaking down all the time, they don't fucking play him. Tell him, get rid, rip up his contract or whatever. But what I'll also come back to is, I genuinely could count on my hand. The amount of decent performances he's had. This is a guy that we paid twelve million for. They came in from Barcelona. He's on one of the highest paid players in the team. And you can name on your hand about five. Someone said to me earlier, Southampton. Why? Because he scored a goal. Still shit in the defence. But he said, well, you don't need a defender in this league. That's what he is, though. He's a defender. He's a defender. I go to a building site as a bricky. Yeah, and start fucking rewiring the house. He goes, he, but he's he's a bricky. We don't need a bricky, mate. The the building's already built. I know, but don't matter, does it? I just want to get a wage, man. That wouldn't happen, would it? Do you know what I mean? You say no. That the bricks are done, mate. We do not need your services anymore. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I I, I don't know. Um. What's for dinner, Jack? I've had it, mate. I had uh, chilli garlic with um, rice and rice and noodles. Four weeks as well. I've been doing my training four weeks and I have to upload progress photos tomorrow in the morning as well as do a weigh-in. So I'm really like, <laughs> I think I might put them in four weeks, start, finish, man. Obviously, I'm bronzed up to death now as well, so it looks like not only have, it looks like I've been training up abroad. Um, Andy, these debates are great because we love it when the player turns it around and back it. <laughs> I hope you're right, bro. These are great debates, so this is what I'm saying. Everyone's entitled to her opinion, but um, the majority are uh, wrong. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, there you go. He's made approximately did a little GBP money, money, money. Um, but at his time at Leeds, of course, like how many games has he played? Obviously, but. He put right, okay. So let's talk about this. I think this is fair, right? This tells you how poor he's been, right? Because you know when people say that yeah, but he's barely played and you know he needs to be given a chance and all this. Do you know last season in the season that we got relegated, he played 19 games? Started 14. The season before. He played 24, started 19. So if that's not enough, 
games to tell you that the guy is trash as a left back, then I don't know what is. Because it's the fact that you think he hasn't played as many games. I say, oh, oh, okay. Like 19 games, that's nearly, that's more than half a season in the Premier League. You know? That is literally half a season in the Premier League. So last season, he got the goal against Southampton, he got an assist. He probably got umpteen yellow cards and was suspended. But he got six yellow cards, 11 the season before. That shows that he can't defend. Because you shouldn't be picking up yellows. I know sometimes they... But when you're regularly picking up yellows, it means you can't defend. You're too late in the tackle. The player's already done you before. And we know that from Junior. Come on now. You might think, well, no, that's wrong, Joe. But watching Junior is because they're already inside and he's taking them out. So I think that's quite illuminating as well. Because if you were to ask me how many games he's played, I'd think of well, not many at all. The fact last season he played 19... 19 games, more than half in the Premier League. And I task you and ask you, what have you seen in them 19 games? It's the fact that you think, oh, he haven't played much. So, you know, he needs to be given a chance. That for me is he's had his chance. That for me is he's had his chance, but this is what it is. Uh, unreliable, yeah. That's one thing he is good at. He is good at that. Um... The only way we sell him is if he plays and stays fit. No, Ali. No, it's all right. Okay, so we 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 play him. Um, we play him to sell him. Like what we're gonna do over Byram. The fact, Ali, we'll never recuperate the cash we paid for him. No one will ever buy him, and he'll leave when his contract runs out. That's what will happen, and he'll be living nice. He'll be living nice. Because he's earned quite a bit of dough while, do, while, while not doing much, just like he did at Barcelona. Um, if Firpo comes back and he's shit, he is shit, Jamie. He is shit. Um, I remember not too long ago you were singing, when was that, pal? When was that? Can you remind me when that was? And if I was saying I knew all along, then obviously it was tongue-in-cheek. Definitely tongue-in-cheek. But can you remind me when that was? Like I say, caught, it, caught, caught in 4K. Sometimes I can't. I don't have an answer if I've said it. Um, Yeah, man. Been hitting the uh, sunbeds, bro. Been hitting the sunbeds. Um, just need to give him the opportunity. But, but why, Lukey B? Have we not given him an opportunity? Are we, you know, this can't be charity, right? No, he needs nearly 20, Jamie, yeah, for sure. Um, How many were consecutive? Right, okay, let me have a look, I'll show you. I'll tell you how many were consecutive, let's have a look. Um, Because I can look at the matches. I'll share it as well, so we can have a look, just bear with us one sec. Um, view matches it is. I was looking on my phone earlier on, to be fair. Um, okay. So, this is last season. So, if we have a look at when he's played. Um, just give me one second and I'll share it with you so you can see it as well as me. Um, can you see that all right? Let me have a look on stream. I'd make sure you can see that. All right. Might need to zoom in a bit so it's not as uh, much of an eye. So one sec. Um, where is it? Where's, uh... right, can you see that? I'm assuming you can see that now. Yeah. Right. Okay. You can't see me though, can you? Let me move me. Um, let me try there. Oh, that's too small. No. Uh, one sec. There. Okay, um, so these are the games that he's played last season. So um, so we had him in match week nine, match week 12. Uh, so there was a gap there, clearly. Um, oh, let's have a look. So we've got here 9th of September. 1st of August, is that? Or is it no, 8th of Jan? Is that right? It'll be the 11th of September. Or is it the other way because it's in America? Do you know what I mean? 1st of August. I'm I'm assuming it's 
the 8th of Jan. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So obviously, 20th of October, 9th of November. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. And then we are, yeah, because then we, we play the FA Cup third round in the first week of Jan, don't you? Yeah, so 8th of January. So he'd had a layoff here between, so he played in October and, uh, sorry, October and November. And then had an injury, clearly. Um, and then came back. So we had a consecutive. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 25th to 6th, probably, yeah. yeah. So quite a lot of consecutive games, is it not? Is that not consecutive? They're weekly. Am I reading that wrong? Someone tell me different, but that looks hella consecutive to me. Is there a better one we can see? With that logic, then Casemiro can't depend. Yeah, his, his legs are gone. His legs are gone. I don't know what you're getting on. I don't know what you're getting at, mate. Casemiro's legs are gone. Um, this is true, Luke. I did, but what I will say in response, this is the point where see, people said you said this about James. You said this. You said this. We had form and history to look at them with Cree. We never Cree was in the under twenty threes when he came up. I was like, mm, yeah, I'm not sure, and he proved me wrong. But it's not as if Cree was amazing, then shit, and then amazing. Whereas with Furpo, I've seen him now. I haven't seen Cree in the first team. I've seen Furpo now. And I can tell you he's gash. Again, such poor Theo. Poor that. Oh, but it's a lesser league. Uh, that's what it is. Um... What we're we saying, um, let's have a look. You literally said yourself, give Jamie, Jamie Shackleton a new. Well, no, I disagree. I disagree. So, what we're saying here, Jamie, that that is J J Jamie. Jamie Shackleton offers more to this squad than Junior Fekin Furpo. Jamie Shackleton, whose contract runs out, deserves an extension for his, his adaptability, his durability, his availability, his skills in terms of being able to play different positions. You know I'm not his biggest fan. You know I'm not his biggest fan. This is incorrect as well. This is incorrect. I do not want them playing. No, not said that. What I would like, though, because, Damar, what I will say to you, my brother, right... You are sat here, sat here or wherever you are. I know you're going to the game at night and you know it's all love. But you are defending a piss poor, piss poor, busted flush defender in junior third poor that you've barely seen, has barely had any good games. You are backing him over these two. Over these two. Why? Why? What has he done for you that means you can be then having a go at these two? Why? Tell me why he ain't nothing but a mistake. That's what Junior Furpo was. Um, I know Furpo is an old guy, but Furpo needs to go with the likes of Cooper. We've almost a new team. Let's build that in January. Um, yeah, he is. Thank you. Definitely. Um... He's had an he's had an opportunity, pal. He's had an opportunity. Uh, Vincent, if Byron got injured, then would you be happy to ready to step in rather than anyone else? Jamie Shackleton, mate, for me. Um, thank you, Matt. Thank you. Furpo couldn't lace Shackleton's boots, let alone Byron. Thank you. Um, so look, does it, no. No, no, Dama, no. Um, let's have a look. Yeah. 
yeah, okay. That's I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So you you gave these players a chance. So let's give Junior a chance. Can I have a chance, but it's going to take a hell of a lot for me to for me to no. They're not Jamie. You came and you put you posed it wrong. You mentioned about charity and all that sort of stuff. Instead of just saying, well, isn't it the same scenario as Jamie Shackleton? You had a go at me for wanting him a new contract, so it wasn't posed the same. Um, yeah, that's fine. Give him a chance or whatever. But for me personally, I don't think he deserves it. I don't think he has any credit in the bank whatsoever. I think he was a poor signing. I think he's a poor defender. And I don't know why people are backing it. And I think the grievance from myself is, last night, for example, you're having to defend Ilian Melier. You're having to defend Luke Aylin and, and and Patrick Bamford and all these guys. Yet you're all sat there in the comments saying, yes, Junior. Yes, Junior. Fuck the old guard. Yes, Junior. That's what I don't understand. And I'll never be able to fathom it. Because he's done nothing for you. Nothing. Nothing. So, anyway. Mad. Madness, innit? But everyone's entitled to their opinion. No, it's all love. And I know you'll all remind me when Junior Furpo now starts every single game in the championship winning season for Leeds United. Yeah? Um, <laughs> uh, um, see, people on Twitter saying, you know, at this level where we won't have to defend as much, I see him being fairly decent. All right, okay, we'll play a striker there. This is my point. Play a striker there then if that's the case. I'll go in. If, we, if, I, if I don't have to defend, I'll go there. It's lazy. It's it's really lazy. Um, but yeah, anyway. We um we move, don't we, at the end of the day. Yeah, let's not forget loss. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Um yeah. Uh thank you very much, Tok. Thanks for being here, Broski. Thanks as always. Listen, I'll be back at seven o'clock. Make sure you check out Cool Media and Fantasy Five. Please do check out Fantasy Five as well. Like I said, it's a game that we're going to be following throughout the season. So please do get involved. Make sure you check out Cool Media for all your marketing um, and advertising specialities. Um we will discuss them more, obviously, in the watch along where I'll be live from seven o'clock um, as we get ready for arguably the most important and toughest game of the season for Leeds United. So let's get there. Yeah, Demar, all love. You know that. like, And Jamie knows it as well. People were allowed to disagree. And you know I get sometimes emotionally heated and all that sort of stuff. But it is all love. Please be best believe that. And I hope that fair Paul proves me wrong. And you'll be saying, you were saying this, this, and this. Let's hope he does that. Because if he doesn't, you know what I'll be doing. <laughs> I'll be reminding you boys when he comes on and gives away a goal and I'll go, I told you, get him off. <laughs> but then again, remember when I did it for Dan? Get him off. Oh, no, it's gone in. <laughs> Listen, join me at seven o'clock. Love you all. Thanks as always. And I'll see you in a bit. Thanks as well. ENS for the super chats today. I'm going to be calling out people at the end of each video. Get putting the super chats moving forward. So ENS with these two super chats today. Thanks very much. It means a lot. Enjoy your Friday, folks. And I'll see you later on this evening. Yeah. Um, and then I'll get a weekend off like Saturday, Sunday. It's been so long. Thanks as always for watching. Peace.